guys, it's Amanda. I'm back with my weekly food haul, or shopping haul, it's not all food. Um, I have been to Aldi's, I've been to Iceland, and I've been to Home Bargains. So I'll do them all individually, bear with me. Hi guys, right, we'll start with the Aldi haul. This is my channel, it's Amanda, I have three hauls for you today. The Aldi is the biggest one. I've also got a Home Bargains and Iceland haul for you. So firstly, in Aldi's, because obviously this is the biggest, let's crack on. I have brought these for hubby, Berry Medley Low Fat Yogurts. And they're um, a variety of um, red berry. I've got raspberry, strawberry and cherry yogurts. Of course, he'll like those. Then I've got a pack of their wonky wonky mushrooms however i don't know what's wonky about them <laughs> but anyway mushrooms are mushroom and then i bought some garlic bread slices to go with our menus for this week and also a garlic flatbread to go with our menus this week just got a little bit of a change i bought a pizza for us for saturday night to share with a salad box um, this is the Italian ham, portobello mushroom, mascarpone. Uh, this is one of the speciality ones, so we'll be sharing that one with the salad. And um, when I'm buying one just for me, I usually get the smaller one that's just bog standard, uh, bog standard one. So I got a nice one. Oh, excuse me, I've got hiccups again. The doctor running around, so if you hear anything, that's what it is. I got some curly fries to try. I've not had these before. And some normal crinkle cut fries, so these will last us a couple of weeks. We'll, have, we'll try. Oh, I've got hiccups again. I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> hiccups, hiccups, hiccups. Um, yeah, so we'll try both these at different points, obviously. I got two of the golden vegetable rice packs and two of the special coconut rice packs. Uh, here i got three of the packs of cappuccino i love these at the moment i'm obsessed with them which is why i bought th three packs i got some elmley double cream um because hubby likes a bit of uh, like a rhubarb pie or apple pie or something after his tea and he likes this cream with it and let's move forward a bit some bananas um, because I'm going to do a banana bread for him this week for his pack ups. I got a onion and garlic pasta sauce. I'm doing a lamb dish on Sunday and I need a jar of pasta sauce. Um, this will go really well with it having the garlic in. And I got a jar of sweet pickled onions. A bottle of the sweet chilli sauce, which I love. I have this on everything semi skim milk what's that is that four pint yeah four pint milk and uh, moving backwards let's see um some grated mature cheddar these now these are for pack ups two puff pastry steak slices a pack of four pork pies and then i've got myself for sandwiches roast peppered pork loin this is beautiful and lean and then I got Graham baked ham for his sandwiches. And then I got the boys breaded ham for on top of their scrambled egg. Because those of you that know me know that they have scrambled egg and a bit of meat on top each day. And I got another jar of pasta sauce. This is the mushroom one. This is for to do a bolognese with. I got some celery, which is for my lamb dish. And I've got these to try. I haven't seen these before. Cola sherbets. Uh, sugar free. So I thought I'd give them a little go. I've got some of their Nord pack, which is the low pack dupe. And it's, it's really nice. I've had this before. That's another rice we got. And I've got some cherry tomatoes. And some mint for the lamb dish on Sunday. I've got a bag of sweet leaf salad. Two packs of spring onions, because I'm doing a spring onion mash in the week. A bag of carrots for the lamb dish. 
giving me some baby potatoes for the lamb dish and some onions for everything else. Radish for the salad. I picked up two packs of this. If you haven't tried this, this is a must. It is hand sanitizer. It's 49p. It's in lemon fizz and it is stunningly beautiful smell. Or it has a stunningly beautiful smell. It tastes, it, no, no, it don't taste very nice at all. I know that because I licked my finger after I put some on and it tastes vile. But anyhow, it smells divine. When you've got this on, uh, when you've put done your hands with this, and I had my, f and then I had my face mask on, and this is all I could smell through the face mask and everything. It smells fabulous. Lemon fizz, it's called, and it's on the checkouts as you go out. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I got two last week for us to try, and I've lo I love it that much. I've got two more for us today. One for my car, one for Graham's car. Um, honest to God, this apart from the Marks and Spencer's one which they don't sell in store apparently it's when you go in store and put it on your hand that smells lovely but apparently they don't sell it because i asked about it um but this honest to god it smells like sherbet lemons it's beautiful so a nice fresh scent if we're gonna have to use it we might as well use it and we like the smell of it aren't we at the end of the day but it's lovely honestly um i've got a pack of the eight warburton sliced rolls for graham's pack up I got an Aldi fruit loaf. We haven't tried one of these yet. Um, the, the Village Bakery ones. We usually get the Tesco one, but I haven't been to Tesco this week. Been to Aldi, so I thought I'd get that and give it a go. I'm sure it'll be fine. And I've got him. I always get him a sandwich when um, when I go shopping. It saves me having to do pack up things when I get home. So plain cheese, which he likes, on. Um, but with butter, no mayo, anything like that. I'm just on white bread because that's what he likes. Play cheese. Strange, but anyhow. Well, not strange, but it's just I like pickles and things on mine. So, a box of sweet crunchy salad. This is to go with our pizza. I got a whole this slice loaf for the week, and I got two packs of crumpets. And then at the weekend, we can either have crumpets or I can have crumpets going to have a baked sandwich because I've got great and as well from Iceland. So that was my Aldi haul. So quite a big haul. I think it was 30, 37 pound or something altogether. Um, so I thought that was quite good, really. I've got most things that I need for my recipes. I've got pack up stuff um, and I've got things to keep in like the chips and things and the rice and things like that won't use everything this week so that's quite good that'll do me for next week a lot of it as well the bread and all things like that I'll use and the salad and mushrooms and the meats but the rest of it um, will last longer than this week so that's good so join me on the next video give this video a thumbs up if you like it we like thumbs up and then I know whether you like the hauls or not have a comment below if you want to you've got any questions or anything you want to know or any videos you want me to do please 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 comment below because otherwise I won't know um, and then if you give me the thumbs up at least I know if you're enjoying the the videos I am doing there's lots more to come on this channel now we know lockdown will be lifting soon I'll be taking you to the caravan with me and we'll be doing lots of videos from the caravan um, like mini uh, we're going to be sorry the house is for sale so we're going to be minimizing everything that we own um and then i'll need to be sorting storage ideas and things out for the caravan so that'll be interesting um we've got a lot of stuff in this house and we really do need to get rid of a heck of a lot of it so um we're looking at maybe self-storage or maybe buying um, a trailer um you know like these u-haul trailer things that they have in america when they move house something like that because um, we have got a driveway at the caravan a, a two-car driveway and we have got some a bit of land with it so we can always store the trailer on there till we sort everything out but yeah so i'll be taking you to the caravan with me um and we'll when we move there obviously everything will be uh videoed and, and uploaded for you to see as well so thanks for watching today really appreciate you joining me and be kind, be good, and look after yourselves. And most importantly, be safe. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. So, I'm back with a mini Iceland haul. Didn't get much from there today. 
I bought some katsu chicken breast fillets. These are what we're going to have tonight for tea. And some fish fillet strips, which we have on a Friday. We've got a bit of an obsession with these at the minute. So we'll be having those Friday. And I bought some two packs of back bacon. They were an offer at £3, a smoked back bacon. And I got those for the weekend so we can have a bacon sandwich for breakfast. The streaky bacon I need for my Sunday roast. I'm doing like a lamb dish. It's a lamb hot pot dish kind of thing. And I bought a frozen half leg of lamb, which is what the recipe needs, a half leg of lamb. Um, five to 800 gram. Well, that's an 800 gram one. I got some eggs for the boys for their teas i got some mozzarella cheese and then for some reason graham loves these bangers and mash um to take with him to work i don't know why because he's very peculiar about sausages he only like likes certain ones and one thing or another but he loves these so that's good value really bangers and mash uh, with gravy for a pound so that's the iceland haul this week so that was very quick wasn't it so I'll go put these away and I'll be back with my home bargains haul. Okay guys, see you in a minute. Hi everyone, I'm back with the home bargains haul. So, I got this week some that are familiar like this Nikki Tyler roll. I always get these. And the Buffalo kitchen roll. So I've got one roll of that which seems to last me the week near enough. And... Um, Nikki four pack of toilet roll so I usually put a couple upstairs a couple downstairs I got a couple of the basmati rice because these are handy to have in hubby needed some baby wipes for work he likes to wipe his truck down and his hands his steering wheel and things with these so baby wipes and his dash he likes the dash to be polished I got some anodine original um thought I'd try these for headaches he says headaches on there so I'm hoping they work for my head and I got Garnier Ultimate Blends Hair Mask Strength Restorer, which is called Honey Treasures, and it's Royal Jelly and Honey Propolis. Now, I used to work for Oriflame many, many years ago, and their Royal Jelly um, products were second to none, and they were highly, highly recommended and highly rated. Um, so I, th I think anything with Royal Jelly in is worth giving it a go. Um, so yeah, Garnier Ultimate Blends, I shall give that a try later, I think I'm going to go in the bath later. My hair's not damaged, but I thought I'd give it a treat with me bleaching it and dyeing it and colouring it. I thought I'd just give it a bit of a treat, seeing as I'm going to try and grow it a little bit, um, and, and use some of this. So, I am ready as yet, let me see what it says, but I will need my glasses, so bear with me one second, and I will tell you what it says oh hopeless with one hand honestly um it says beautiful bees make beautiful hair nature's hardest workers give us three treasures from the beehive i'm shaking like a leaf um protected propolis <laughs> precious royal jelly and heavenly honey blended with love in a sweet, oh, let me put that down because I'm shaking, in a sweet scented, gently restorative formula that will leave your hair feeling stronger and looking healthier, root to tip. Be beautiful. So what do we do? We use once or twice a week after strength restorer shampoo, which I haven't got that, I'll just use my shampoo. Squeeze excess water from hair and generously smooth over the velvety mask through your mid lengths to ends. That's basically all my head because it's very short. <laughs> Leave for one to five minutes depending on the care your hair needs and rinse thoroughly. So what I'll do, I'll wash my hair. When I go in the bath, I'll wash my hair, slather this on and then sort the rest of my body out. Give it a good wash and do whatever and then wash this off. So I will let you know how it is. Anyhow. On with the rest of the haul. I got my guilty pleasure midget gem, I think. I'm hoping this is going to be the last week because I'm back on the slimming world next week. Fingers crossed if I can get motivated. And um, I got the Webox Tasty uh, Sticks. 
for the dogs, there's five, but they've had two. I always bring my present when I come in, as you know. So they've had two between two of them, but that's not bad, really. And the chomping chew sticks, these, they like these. There's 20 in here. They have a couple on a morning between all of them, so that's okay. Um, and I got these bin liners. These fit my bin fantastically. They tend to never split or anything, and they've got a drawstring top, so that's good. They are strong. I got Easy Squeezy Premier Original Cheese for Hubby for Pack Up. I got some fat balls for the birds and some wild bird seed for the birds as well. New improved recipe with high energy suet pellets. I got a couple of packs of fire lighters for the fire because we've run out. And I got a happy Easter bunting. Look how cute that is. <laughs> Can't wait. It's three metres long. Uh, and I'm going to put that up and I'll put it up with my pound decorations out. You know, the little rabbits and things I've got. Oh, and then I picked this. I have a notebook in my handbag all the time. I loved this. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Look at it. And it's got a page keeper with a little paw print on. And it's, um, I can't think what the film is. Life of Pets or something. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. But anyhow, um, yeah, Secret Life of Pets, that's it. Uh, I love this notebook. And that says on the back, love fluff. <laughs> How fabulous is that? Look at that face. It's gorgeous. And it's my favourite colour, pink. And it's got a bit of glitter on the band here. So I can't wait. I'm going to use this next week for my shopping list. So that's good. I shall put my other one away in the drawer because that's pretty plain and boring. And add this one for next week till I've run out. I think this one's 99p, so that's fantastic. Got that. And I picked up a W... No, I didn't. A Wet n' Wild Mascara Mega Length in black. So we'll give that a try. I've had a couple of bits. One bit, I had a, a lip stain and gloss last week if you remember pencil and one the week before and I was really pleased with them and I've had an eyeliner from there as well liquid eyeliner and I thought I'd give the mascara a try because I've been really pleased with those that I have had um, and we'll see what the mascara's like this is the mega length one there were different ones in there but we'll give those a go while I was in there I needed to pop across to the range which is just opposite um, I broke yesterday a plug socket <laughs> My picture fell off the wall and hit the socket um, and it's like a box socket like this. It stands proud of the wall uh, and it smashed it to pieces. So Hubby's going to put this on tonight when he gets home. So I had to buy the actual box and then obviously the socket top, which also I was looking for the full thing. But apparently you can buy different depths of the box. Anyway, I got the biggest one because I won't, I won't show what size. I didn't know they came in different sizes. But anyway, so that's that. And then I picked up some photo paper for our memory book that you have seen in the other video. And then some photo corners for the, um, the album as well, the memory book. So that's all from Home Bargains today. Not a big haul. Um... So two small hauls, one Iceland, one home bargains, and my bigger one was from Aldi. <gasps> Look at this face. I love that face. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe if you haven't, if you want to join our friendly community. We're like a lovely little family on here, so please join us. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.